and catch you. Oh my god. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel and today I'm gonna be showing you how to more efficiently use your mobile data in Cuba. So in case you haven't known, Cuba has only recently gotten mobile data of any kind. We got 3G back in 2018 and a year later in 2019, we finally have 4G. Um, boy, the lives of us local and international students have never been the same since. But wait, before you say anything, let me just tell you right off the bat. First of all, you can't expect your data to last very long if you Facebook and Instagram every second of the day, if you're part of a lot of messaging groups and they love to talk a lot, or if you love to video chat. Second of all, you can't force Etexa, which is the sole telecommunications company in Cuba, to reduce their prices if they don't want to. So what can you do? Well, in this video, Come closer, come here, come here. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Um, it's not a secret, but whatever. I'm gonna be sharing you a little piece of knowledge that technically will allow you to extend the life of your mobile data and make it even cheaper as well. You might be asking yourself right now, what's the catch? Is it legal? Do I have to sell my soul? Well, yes, there is a catch. Two, it's totally legal, there's no other ramifications, and no, you don't have to sell your soul. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the video and let's do this. Roll the intro. While there's no way to directly lower the prices of Etexa's mobile data packages at this moment, there is a way to technically extend the life of it, that is, allow it to last longer than what it is and as a result make it even cheaper. So I love using Twitter and throughout the course of 2020, the year of the panini, uh, <laughs> I've noticed a trend that was going on and that trend was that a lot of companies have started to become a little bit more generous during that year and by generous I mean like you know giving free stuff whether that be products applications, uh, services, and I found that really nice, you know, not just because I like free stuff, but you know, it's to help people at home who are probably bored or want something to do, and so I really appreciate that. So Atexa, in an effort to keep people home and off the streets to prevent the spread of this panini, they proposed a program that would cut the costs of calls and data usage by 50% for certain hours of the day. Yes, you heard right. Um, the only catch is that the time frame for this discount is actually from 1 a.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning. Now, granted, as a medical student by day and hustler content creator at night, I barely sleep, so to be honest, it doesn't bother me that much. But I know a lot of people who do sleep before midnight and so, you know, for those people, if they want to take advantage of this discount, they actually have to stay up and that's like the only downside to it, but it's kind of like a business tactic too. Etexa, you're smart. So for example, if I were to watch a video on Twitter, right, and it would normally take 10 megabytes to watch it, it will only be counted as 5 megabytes, right? Half of 10 is 5. And so, only 5 megabytes would be deducted from my data plan, which is pretty good. I have actually tested this multiple times, and the most recent is something that I don't recommend everybody do, but I was just pretty desperate. Just a couple weeks ago, I wanted to download a game for my Nintendo Switch, and that game would have taken 28 gigabytes of data. Now, in order to download 28 gigabytes here, at least in the school Wi-Fi, I would have to wait at least 30 to 40 hours. It's like approximately one gigabyte per hour, 
That means I would have to either just sit there in the cold hard ground outside waiting for this download to finish and you know I can't stay there all day so I would like do parts of it and then continue on later or the next day and I found that that would never work because somehow in the middle of the whole process uh, the download would just corrupt or like something would happen and I have to start over and so as a desperate man I did what desperate people do they make bad decisions uh, I bought a 14 gigabyte data plan now for context that costs 45 US dollars right <laughs> And I was going to use this 14 gigabytes to download my 28 gigabyte game. By taking advantage of that promotional period, I can theoretically stretch my 14 gigabyte data plan to 28 gigabytes and finish the game. Otherwise, I would have to purchase two 14 gigabyte data plans, and that would be like about $90. Like, I already paid for the game, and now I have to pay to download the game. It doesn't, it's crazy, it's crazy. Life's rough here. <laughs> Two or three hours, finished downloading the game and you know, looking from the data monitoring section on my phone, I indeed used up way more than my original plan. Was it worth it? I think so, but it might not be worth it for other people. But for me, I, I value my time and time is money, time is power and so you know, while I was downloading, I was able to get a beautiful night's sleep and wake up in the morning refreshed and with the game already downloaded, so that was great. So to recap, as of the recording of this video, this promotion from 1 a.m. to 6 a.m. still is applicable and hopefully it stays even as the panini, um, you know, starts to disappear from our lives forever and we can go back to normal because it's really great for those of us who are very um, conscious of their you know, money expenditure and wanna like stretch it as far as possible. And while I personally don't think I'd be able to do that again, <laughs> um, and I don't recommend it for most people, if you have the money, I guess you can do it. But it's a great option to have if you wanna download larger files and fast and you also want to save some money. Yeah, and so thanks for watching and let me know down in the comments what you usually use mobile data for because I'd love to know. Yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.